Welcome again to the two student sites at the World Hydrogen Week in Rotterdam. Uh, now I'm sitting here with Jaco from the Neom Green Hydrogen Company. Jaco, it's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for the invitation to talk about our exciting project. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting project. But before we start to talk about the project, perhaps it's also an exciting role that you have in this project and in the company. Can you perhaps explain a bit more about um, your role yeah. and what you're doing at the moment? Yeah, uh, it really is a very exciting role. Uh, my name is uh, Jaco Weinans. I'm the vice president of the uh, of operations of the Neom Green Hydrogen Company. Uh, this is a joint venture between three companies, Air Products, Aqua Power and Neom. And uh, we're developing the world's uh, largest uh, green hydrogen plant. So uh, my background is in, in operations, engineering. Uh, I've had some senior operations uh, and technical roles in uh, in air products and had the opportunity to uh, to work on this uh, project. So currently based in uh, in Saudi Arabia and uh, working to build our operating team, our infrastructure and systems because we're really starting out from uh, completely nothing uh, green uh, greenfield sites. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll have a, a a green hydrogen site where we'll be producing. Uh, green hydrogen and then converting it to ammonia with a jetty to ship it. And then all our power and transmission is dedicated to our plant. So we're building a uh, large uh, wind garden and a large solar farm to provide all the power for, for our facility. Yeah, I mean, this was also one of the hottest news um, in the summer that the, your project reached financial closure. More than $8 billion um, of investment. So now the question is a few months later, how is it going? Like, what's the progress on, on the ground after this financial closure? No, that's a good question. So, uh, I mean, uh, you know, very exciting. In May of uh, this year, we managed to uh, get to our financial close. $8.4 billion uh, total project cost, about $6 billion in, uh, in non-recourse project financing from 23 uh, banks, including many local banks in Saudi Arabia. So really, you know, to have that uh, done uh, and, and have a real project is, is extremely exciting. So, uh, you know, with that financial close, uh, the sites are, are mobilized. We have construction going on on the green hydrogen site, on the solar site and on the wind site. Uh, all the main equipment is, uh, is, is ordered. And uh, actually it was uh, interesting this week, we had the delivery of the first wind turbines that uh, arrived in the port of Neom that will be transported to the site. Uh, so, uh, yes, a lot of work, uh, several thousand contractors on site at the moment and, uh, uh, you know, really ramping up for this major construction phase. When will it start, like the major construction phase? When do you plan first operation or first production of um, green products? Uh, we will first complete our renewables, the, the solar and the wind. We expect that have that complete commissioned and handed over by the end of 25. Then we'll spend the next year uh, using that power to commission the green hydrogen site, the electrolyzers, uh, the ammonia plant, the air separation plant, uh, the utilities. Uh, so we will actually be producing product uh, uh, sometime in 26. A lot of the um, companies and also consortia using NEOM as an example, and NEOM Green Hydrogen Company as an example, how they could also organize offtake and yeah, the, the structuring of a project. So. But on, on the local side, how does NEOM, the Green Hydrogen Company and the project fit into NEOM as a project overall? So really, uh, Saudi Arabia is planning to be the world's largest producer of low carbon hydrogen. And there's also the, the Saudi uh, Vision 2030. And really, NEOM Green Hydrogen Company fits in perfectly with that. So uh, it will be the first mover in terms of green hydrogen. There's many other projects going on uh, in the rest of the country, but this is really the first uh, uh, large scale green hydrogen project. And I think it's only possible because, you know, a combination of things. Uh, firstly, in Neom, we have a fantastic location. Uh, our sites really are uh, uh, over 300 square uh, kilometers divided between the solar plant, the wind plant and, and the green hydrogen plant. There aren't many places in the world where you can just, you know, uh, get 300 square kilometers of, of land to build on. Uh, you know, secondly, we have visionary partners that, uh, that are willing to invest in a project. You know, it's, it's a risk, but, but you know, this is the future. Um, and then you know, we have that offtake agreement, so a guaranteed uh, income 30-year offtake agreement from, from Air Products. 
and that is really what has allowed us to, uh, uh, you know, get the project financing and, and get this project started. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the other area that is, is critical is that area of Saudi Arabia in the, uh, in the northwest. Of course, very high solar intensity, but uh, also has a very high wind intensity. So that makes it a perfect location uh, with, with, with these factors to, to build a facility. I know it's always a tricky question to talk about, like the offtake and where you're selling it to. But just as perhaps a more general question, like how much of the produced hydrogen and ammonia will be used locally also to decarbonize uh, NEOM facilities in general? Yes, uh, so, so initially um, the plan is to export the, the, the majority of the product. Um, we're looking at the supply chain in Europe because that seems to be the fastest developing market for, for, for green hydrogen. It's an ideal location on the Red Sea. You can go through the Suez Canal and you have a very fast access to, sure. uh, to the ports of Europe. And Air Products is already looking at uh, facilities to turn the uh, ammonia back into hydrogen in the UK in the Netherlands and, and in Germany. Uh, but, you know, there is opportunity for expansion. We are looking at the, at the local Saudi market as well. We think there will be a market uh, developing there. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that, that would be the, the second step in, uh, in the strategy for the, for the product. So then perhaps the last question, um, which is important, of course, to ask is to suit. What's your um, point of view and your stand at the moment with regards to the certification and the access, for example, to the European market based on the RFNBO discussion? Right. Uh, that is absolutely critical, right? Uh, you can produce the product, but uh, you know, if you can't certify it, then it will be much more difficult to sell. Yeah. So uh, uh, at Neom Green Hydrogen Company, we're making sure that our plant is compliant uh, as we start looking into the requirements for carbon intensity. You know, clearly we have 100% uh, renewable power to generate our product. Uh, but when we look at the, the water we're consuming uh, and, and some other aspects, there may be some small carbon intensity. Uh, and then of course, the supply chain of getting the product to its end user. So, uh, you know, having a solid process, a solid work process right from the start to certify the facility, to certify the supply chain for the product is something that we're working on very closely with our partners and with, and with their partners. Just uh, there's only one thing left to say. Thank you very much, Jaco, for joining It's a pleasure, a uh, pleasure to talk to you and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. And I'm really looking very much forward to the next updates of uh, the Neon project. Right. Exciting. Hopefully I'll be back next year. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.